The beginning of spring has been so beautiful. Colors returning to the earth, the sun's out, the bird song's a lot louder, and the insects are making noise, and it forms a bit of a spring melody. Flowers are starting to come out of the ground, and buds popping on the trees, and days are getting a lot longer too. And all of it's just creating a lot of buzz and excitement. And Kyle and I have this newfound wave of inspiration with the cabin. So we've been going up there more often, and one day it was so warm. We went for our first river swim of the season, since the last dip I did was in the winter when there was still snow on the ground. All of the runoff from the freshly melted snow is so bitter cold, but so refreshing. Sort of numbs your limbs, but it feels really good, and you get used to it pretty quickly. And as badly as I wanted to stay in the river all afternoon, we've been staring at insulation for a long time inside the cabin, so we figured we'd kick off work with getting the ceiling installed, which began with scraping off a bit of excess spray foam so the boards would be flush with the wall. So we hopped inside and picked up where Kyle and his friend John left off. We've been putting up shiplap and we're going to leave it raw for a really bright natural look. Since the cabin's tucked into a pretty shady area in the woods, keeping light colors really does brighten the interior. So far, we've been getting there in the second half of the day, but we're making solid progress and getting quicker every time. That material has been sitting there since winter and has a lot of footprints and shoe prints and handprints, so eventually we'll have to wash that off. We also realized that out of the two sizes we have, we have 8 foot boards and 12 foot boards, that the 8 foot boards are beveled and the 12 are not. It's really not super noticeable and it is a cabin after all, so we're rolling with what we have and also have been making our own bevels, sanding the edges where the two flat ends connect, but horizontally is where the beveling varies between the two boards. in this year's journey of beginning seeds for the garden inside the apartment. I've been learning a lot of things along the way, one of which is that I need artificial light. Even though I have south-facing windows, it's not enough for the seedlings. So Kyle had a couple left over at the old office and I grabbed them and I set them up and they love them. The second day we went to the cabin was a lot colder, so Kyle started a fire in the cabin while I warmed up some of his freshly baked sourdough bread for us to snack on. We've been going around and collecting a lot of fallen and dried sticks, twigs, and branches off the forest floor, as well as some scrap material that's been laying around for a long time, and making a bit of a brush fire out of it, just to clean up overall and get rid of some stumps in the ground, while simultaneously working on the ceiling.
I've never done ceiling work before and was pretty intimidated at first, but once you get into the groove of shiplap, things flow really easily. Day two, it was mostly straight cuts. It's amazing how transformative putting up ceiling is to a space. Now I feel like I can actually start visualizing what the inside of the cabin will look like. And in typical Berkshire fashion, it snowed almost blizzard-like for about 15 minutes on and off. And none of it really stuck to the ground. So nuts how the weather flip-flops around this time of year. And as much as I've been enjoying spring and love the warm weather, there is something so therapeutic and comforting about pausing what you're doing to go out and collect some wood for the fire. I feel like it's a task that can get overlooked and maybe after a long winter you get sick of doing it. But by the end of summer, Kyle and I are always daydreaming about that first trip out in the fall. So I don't mind having to do it a couple more times this year. So now we would start straight back. Actually, we could just finish the loft now. Yes, yeah. if one, two. Okay. And we spent the rest of the afternoon chipping away at the other half of the loft so we could set up a good foundation for the next time that we came. Golden screws with the star bits out of the shed. All right, so the board has to be level with the white. Yeah, actually, so I think on the rafter actually does right work. Here. I think, because that's what happened on that side, yeah. We need another little piece down there. Mm -hmm. We're in, baby. Look at that. Wow. Um, nice. All right. And by the end of the day, we did get a good chunk done. We are so close to finishing the loft and really kind of closing in on this project as a whole now. With things being warmer, I've been exploring more again and recently went to my favorite waterfall in the area. And I know I always say it, but it truly feels like I soak up the energy of the rushing water. I was so entirely euphoric.
got to submerge in the cold and really feel it on my whole body. And I even sort of felt my breath getting affected by it. It felt like I was reborn and my mind, body, and soul were cleansed and renewed. Just feel really content and grateful with how the flow of life has been lately. And I'm so excited for the future and our projects to be completed with the weather continuing to warm up around here.